Chat. On the day of a St. Thomas track meet, Let's go St. Thomas! you wouldn't expect to find 2009 Tommy Award recipient and track and field All-American James Ewer on the sideline. Come on, Joe! Come on, Joe! Only an injury. I tweaked a little thing in my hamstring. Could place Ewer in the role of cheerleader. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yet on campus, he's had plenty of practice, cheering on fellow students as an RA. I definitely see myself in a, in a strong and a very important role within St. Thomas. Having that presence on campus, being able to facilitate, you know, a group of guys coming together as a community. Ewer has built communities in his first two years as a Brady Hall RA, and now in Ireland Hall. -da -da. I love the fact that there's a group of gentlemen that can come and talk to me virtually about anything. My door is always open way. whether they want to go grab some food at the grill, listen to some music, watch some TV, play video games. And Ewer keeps his door open to the entire St. Thomas community. <laughs> Serving students smoothies in the pit stop. That's a good choice. Making his voice heard in the front row of basketball games. And setting the standard for motivation. What is achievement motivation? St. Thomas professor John Tower considered Ewer a textbook example long before they met. So I'm reading this article right before I go to class, and it's listing off you know, all the activities that James is involved in, the degree of success he's had in each one. And so I ended up using him, not knowing him at all, but sort of as this prototype of, look, how does someone develop this kind of work ethic? And you were a shining example. Who has a good fake smile? James, you do? Can we see your fake smile, James? <coughs> Motivates classmates to get involved. I felt like I was out of everything that St. Thomas had to offer. Once a leader in high school, Wait, Dowling RA Cassie Melchow was living off campus time, until Ewer encouraged her to come back. Well, I don't know if he really knows this yet, but I really don't think I would have like, had that motivation to be an RA. Like, I really needed somebody up here who was actually in the job, showing a little bit of faith in me. His desire to serve led Ewer beyond campus to Guatemala and White Earth, Minnesota. I hope that, you know, whatever I do, I can still do things like that where I can travel around the world, you know, experience other cultures, other customs, things like that. And I feel like that's really how you learn, it's just by, you know, putting yourself in, in a situation where you wouldn't normally be. James is that rare student who has both the accomplishments but also the ability to put everyone else at ease. And so they'd go to him with a problem, they'd go to him with a question, they'd go to him with an idea, and I think he'd greet all those with the same excitement that he chases every challenge. Not surprisingly, the 2009 Tommy Award recipient will graduate with a leadership and management degree that will serve him well in a lifetime of service. I've tried to really kind of devote my life to like serving others, um, whether that's through service trips, whether that's through um, volunteering, things like that, on campus, off campus. I mean, if we all help each other, I think we all win.